Hello everyone. As we all know, KA has released the provisional key answers along with a press note. And in the press note, they have informed that we can raise our objections before 5.30 p.m. of 19th April. And they have given an email ID, recruitment2021kea at the rate gmail.com to which we can write our uh, objections along with a justification. They have also given the instructions the way how we have to apply for these objections. They have given this table. Now, uh, I have seen the provisional answer key for uh, physics. The paper which I have solved in my YouTube channel Unfog with Dr. Atahar Parveen is uh, A4. My question paper was A4 and our code is uh, of course 16 for physics. So, please follow this code A4. I mean to say please follow the question paper which I have solved in my YouTube channel so that you can uh, relate with the question numbers and all. Okay. Now, these are the objections which I feel. Maybe I am wrong somewhere or uh, maybe some more questions are to be added. I don't know. This is whole and soul of uh, my suggestions. Only my suggestions. Okay. So, this is the pattern which uh, they have told us to follow. Now, my version code is A4. And uh, this is the published answer key from the provisional answer key which they have given. Uh, this is the answer key which I, I am proposing. Okay. In fact, I have mailed them this objection list along with the justification okay as i solved in uh, part one of this video uh, in question number 29 while finding the mobility this is how i found the mobility and approximately i got 1.92 which was the uh, correct option there was a option a next is question number 40 where they are asking for the order of error in simpson's rule for numerical integration with the step size h. So, I found that it is h raised to 4. Even in Wikipedia, it is given the same. I have written the same in the objection list also. I have given the link also of the Wikipedia there. The next question is question number 44. It was relating to the vectors p cross q and p plus q. What is the angle between them? Here see p cross q is the cross product of vectors p and q and cross product of two vectors generate a third vector which is perpendicular to the two vectors generating it through their vector product. Thus, this vector P cross Q must be perpendicular to vectors P and Q that is perpendicular to the plane containing the vectors P and Q. Therefore, option D should be the right answer whereas they have given as option A in the provisional key. Next question where I have raised the objection is question number 66. In first video, that is part 1, I have showed you how the uh, electric field on the Gaussian surface should be radially inward if the charge minus Q is at the center. Because if there is charge plus Q, then the electric field is radially outward. That is uh, option C. So, I have proposed option C, but they have given option B in the provisional key. So, that is why I have raised this objection as well. So, next question is 85. This I am really doubtful, I do not know. Maybe, maybe I am right or uh, there are chances that I am wrong, but still I have included this in the objection list. Here, uh, question number 85 in part 2, you can see here uh, d by dx of a operator. I thought it should be 0, but they have given option C, which is uh, 1. They have given option C 1. Maybe I am wrong, I do not know, but I did not want to take a chance. That is why I included this also in this uh, objection list. Next question I have raised is uh, question number 110. This was about the Bose particles. So, they were asking that the partition function of two Bose particles, each of which can occupy any of the two energy levels, 0 and epsilon is. Actually, there was a typo error here. Instead of Bose, they had written base. So, people cannot uh, relate to it immediately, isn't it? In the exam pressure, how can one relate base to Bose? So, this is a typo error. This is a genuine uh, mistake. I thought so. That is why I am asking grace marks for that question. And the next question is 111. This was uh, regarding this uh, circuit. The diode was shown and uh, this IV relation which can be ap approximated to this. Uh, they have given a relation. They wanted us to find the value of VD, the output voltage. Now, this is the procedure I have done and I got option B. You can see my part 3 video for this in this YouTube channel. 
actually this is how i solved with the quadratic equation and i am getting option b but someone told me that option a may is uh, the right answer but i don't have explanation for option a i have explanation for option b right so i believe that option b is the right option but in the provisional key they have given option a as the right option so why to take chance that's why i am including this question also in the objection list next question is question number 124 the last but one question the question is uh, a material with one dimension in nano range and the other two dimensions are large is called according to according to me it should be quantum well but in the provisional key they have given it as quantum dot option a so i have raised objection with this question as well so for me option d should be the right answer i have explained that a material with one dimension in nano range and other two dimensions which will be large is called quantum well a material with two of the three dimensions in the nano range and third large is called quantum well when all the dimensions are in nano range then only it is called quantum dot this is what i feel so i have included this question also in the objections so total questions which i am so total questions which i have included in the objections are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 eight questions in this two questions are doubtful question number 85 and 111 maybe the provisional key is right but the rest six questions i am sure that uh, they will change the key the answer key so let's hope for the best and i would like to wish all the best to all the aspirants of uh, assistant professor uh, kea examination who are waiting for the results okay thank you